Good morning, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Indian Council for Cultural Relations, I welcome you to the inaugural function of an interfaith conference on world religions, diversity, not dissension. This international conference is organized to celebrate the 150th birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda. We begin with welcome address by Dr. Karan Singh, President of the Indian Council for Cultural Relations. Respected Rashtrapati Ji, Sri Pranav Kumar Mukherjee, Director General ICCR Suresh Goel, Academic Coordinator Ananta Baslev, Distinguished Delegates to this important conference on world religion, diversity, not dissension, from India and around the world. So as you are aware, this event is part of the 150th birth and anniversary celebrations, which you inaugurated uh, in, in Rashtrapati Bhavan two months ago. Uh, there will be a whole series of uh, events in India and abroad, in which the ICCR will be closely involved. It is astounding what Swamiji was able to achieve in a short life of 39 years. He articulated a virtual restatement of Hinduism for the modern age cutting across the encrusted superstition and dead ritual and going straight to the glowing heart of the Hindu tradition, which is the Vedanta, the Upanishads. He cut away all the excrescences and he once again very clearly articulated those principles, those uh, ideals that have sustained Indian civilization for thousands of years from the very dawn of history. He introduced a strong social commitment to the poor and the downtrodden. This is very important. You will recall that on one occasion he said that if you meet a man who is starving, you must first fill his stomach and then give him your religion and philosophy. To preach religion to a starving person is to insult both religion and that person itself. He was constantly pressing for the involvement of the marginalized people, of women particularly, he was very clear that the, that the status of woman should be fully recognized and his whole life was dedicated to uplifting the poor and the needy. Mr. President, today humanity is at a crossroads. We find ourselves in a situation where there's tremendous power and strength, but wisdom languishes. The old is collapsing, the new is struggling to be born, and we find ourselves precariously poised between a vanishing past and an indeterminate future. At a time like this, we need a fresh inspiration. We need Vivekananda. We need his power. We need his passion. We need his soaring idealism. We need his love for India and for all humanity. We need his reverence for all the religions of the world, which, as I said, are different paths to the same goal. Above all, we need his inspiration both for our inner quest and for our outer achievement. So while welcoming you, sir, and the whole audience, I will close with that verse from the Kathopanishad, which Swamiji was particularly fond of and which exhorts us to awake and to arise and to move boldly across the razor-edged path. The path is difficult and dangerous. There are no soft options now, either for individual salvation or for collective welfare. But it is across that difficult and dangerous path that we have to go. And we have to go to our goal. And our goal has to be a new India, a new world, a new consciousness on planet Earth, a new way of living among uh, human beings. And that is a great verse of the Kathopanishad, Uttishtata, Jagrata, Prapya Varan Nibodhata, Churasya Dhara Nishita Durattayaha, Durgam Pathastat Kavayo Vadanti.